Here is how to make a before and after picture on Canva. It's pretty easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description to do so, or simply use that to get free access to Canva. Let's begin. So in case you're wondering, I'm just gonna be using a YouTube thumbnail for the dimensions. You can do whatever is best for you, depending on how you want it to look, but, but given the fact that you see a lot of the before and after picture effects as thumbnails, that's what I'm gonna be using. First thing what we wanna do is go over to Elements, and I simply typed in Frames. We're gonna go right here and click on See All with Frames. Now I'm gonna use this one. All we need to do is use it twice, but what I wanna do is click it once. I'm gonna make it about almost half the size of this. In fact, what I wanna do is make it so it touches the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is just kinda of move it in right here from the right. And I believe around like 640 is gonna be half. Yes, it stopped right there, so that's perfect. It kinda of lined it up, so that's perfectly half of this. Now what we wanna do is left click on it and then just do copy and paste or control V or just duplicate. So I'm gonna click this for duplicate it. Now we have the same exact one. This is gonna be our after. So the left is gonna be before, right is gonna be after. So now we have a section for both of those, great. Now what we need to do is add our images. This should be the easy part. Maybe it's gonna be a transformation. Maybe it's something for your business. In this example, since I am marketing island, I love using islands as examples. And what I wanna do is take the before, the first one, I'm just gonna drag it in until it fits in the frame, just like that, okay, and let go. Now you're gonna notice you might, might not be able to see all of it, that's perfectly fine. What we wanna do is click on it. We're gonna click on this button, this is the crop section, this is perfect. So now we can drag it to kind of center it however we want. This is just a, a picture of a rundown island with a lot of debris and garbage. So the after is gonna be much more vibrant and so on and so forth. And I think that looks fine. Whenever you find the perfect crop for it, click on done. Let's do the same exact thing for the next one. This is gonna be our after shot. Let's drag it into the frame so it sticks. Let's click on it. Let's go to the crop. And let's say we want a little bit more vibrant. So something like this, right? So that's gonna be like the before and after. Now all we need is going to be the section where we have say before and after on top. What we can do here is go to elements. Let's go back here. And what we can do is look for shapes. It's already there, but I'm just gonna type it in for you. And all we need is something like this, okay? So let's click on see all. I'm gonna to go to this. We're gonna drag this, don't worry about the color as well, all the way up to the top. Now how tall you make it is really gonna be up to you. Uh, what you can do is just go like this and drag it to make it either taller or shorter. I think right about there is gonna be fine. It doesn't matter, don't worry about memorizing those numbers there because we're just gonna duplicate it again. We're gonna drag it right there. Okay, now what we wanna do before we change anything over or duplicate it, I'm gonna click on it. Let's just change the color. It really depends on what you wanna use, but say for this, any of these colors almost kinda of match too well, but to really make it stand out, I'm gonna say use red. Now what we wanna do is click on it, right click on it, and then duplicate. And we're just gonna drag it on over to the top. I think you get the idea here. Now we have just the text is all we need to do. So let's go to the text. We can do any type of text box. I'm just gonna go with the heading here. I'm gonna do before. And what I wanna do is make that white. So I'm just gonna click on the text color and let's do white so it really stands out. We can do before right there. And there's also, if you wanna click on this as well, you can kinda of do effects to probably make it look better. Since this is white, I say like an outline would probably be pretty good here. Let's make it actual black so it'll pop more. I think it looks so much better like that, okay? Now what we can do is just simply duplicate this as well. So let's click on here, right click. Let's duplicate, let's move it on over. We can kind of center it as well right there. And now we just need to change this since it already has the effect. And that my friend is how you can make a before and after picture on Canva. It's pretty straightforward to do. You can also play around with it. You can move these on the bottom if you want. You know, you can put an actual border in the middle if you want to separate that. You can maybe fade it. It's really going to be up to you. But if you got any value out of this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it all the way to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link deeper in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.